Hello and welcome to my channel. Since this is the first video I'm recording in 2022, I'd like to say Happy New Year to all of you. Over this side of the world, in the UK, you will find many people around this time of the year, they will have new resolutions for the new year. A resolution is something that you set your minds on to make sure you achieve and you're going to do better this year than the previous year. What is your year resolution? Leave a comment below with what is your new year resolution in 2022. Should you want to know what my new year resolution is, stick till the end of this video and hopefully I'll be able to bring a smile to your face. I'm Stan and in today's episode, which is part of the A74 series, we're going to discuss what is the travel setup or a potential travel setup for Sony Alpha 74, but not just the A74, I'm using it as an example. It can be A7 III, A7 S3, A1, A7 R4, A7 R3, you name it, any camera from the Sony Alpha series. Why would you want to watch this video? If you are the owner of any of the Alpha series cameras from Sony and you're looking for what would be the lightest travel setup you can use with your A7 IV, this video is for you. I'd like to share with you what is my approach and the workflow I'm going through when I find myself in the situation that I need to buy any accessory or gear or anything related with photography. First, I'm defining what is it that I need and what is it that I want to achieve. In this particular case, when I came to realize I needed a travel bag, I put down the top three requirements that my travel bag would need to meet before I shortlist it or consider it for buying. First, I knew it had to be an on-the-go camera bag. Therefore, it had to have a small factor to be a light bag that would give me a quick access to my camera. Secondly, I knew it had to be weatherproof. Lastly, from the requirements, but not at least, whatever I would end up buying as my travel camera bag, I wanted this bag to look different than the usual camera bag. And that's for security reasons. Going through the requirements, small factor, light camera bag, weatherproof, could be a camera bag that is stealthy for security reasons so that people will not immediately realize there is a camera in that bag. What were some benefits that were optional but very welcome? I love minimalist style in general with everything. And with photography, even with the accessories, it would have been welcome that this camera bag be of a neutral color. What is another optional welcoming feature? Yes, to have flex fold dividers to allow for customizable organization. What is the use case? When would I actually need this on the go camera bag? Every time I would go out for some casual street photography, when I'm out with the loved ones or on a holiday, when I travel to another country, I needed a bag that was very practical, small factor that I would use for any non-professional photography projects. After doing the usual amount of research, in order to meet all these requirements, I chose to buy the Peak Design Everyday Sling 5 liter camera bag. And this is it. You can see it. I want to keep it here for a little while so you can see the form factor compared with me. Then I'm bringing it forward a bit. Now, you can see it on the side. Now, on the back. Since this is not a camera bag review, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the camera bag itself, but rather what is the setup in terms of lenses, gear that I fit in it and how I travel. To start, let me show you what I was able to fit in. So from a reverse order, this is my mini tripod. I've got the Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2 section mini tripod. It is around 40 pounds in price. I managed to buy this at half the price. I'll get back on why I decided to keep this in my travel bag later. I'd like to share with you what is the customizable organization I referred to earlier. So I've got my Sony A7 camera in here with the 24mm GM Masters 1.4 and I have the 50mm on top of that you have the 
Manfrotto mini tripod or you can have your wallet or you can have other accessories. What is my gear selection for travel? 24mm f1.4 GM master lens with the a7 IV mounted on it already all the time and either the 55mm 1.8 Zeiss lens or an 85mm lens in my case is the Sigma 85mm f1.4 DGDN without the hood. On top of that goes the Manfrotto Pixie Evo 2 section mini tripods. This is how the customizable organization is inside when the bag is empty. Let me move this out of the way. Could you fit three lenses and the a7 IV? Yes, you could. But I prefer to have two lenses and the mini tripod rather than three lenses with no tripod. Due to long exposure shots for nighttime, or any other situations where I need a longer exposure. Let me give you an example. I was invited to a friend's wedding in Czech Republic, in Prague. They had so many beautiful places of worship. They were breathtaking. There would be people going there to worship. Therefore, if you wanted to capture these beautiful places of worship, the people would be in your frame. In that case, I increased the shutter speed to anything over five seconds as it is unlikely for people to remain still for such a long period of time, while the church, which would obviously be static, would be perfectly sharp, and this way I would manage to get the shot I wanted with no people in the frame. I really hope you found this episode informative, and if you have and you like the video, give us a thumbs up, that always helps. If you haven't subscribed already, just click on that subscribe button. It's a free way that you can support this channel so that more educational videos like this one can be created. Now, as promised in the beginning of this video, and if you made it that far, you might want to know what is my new year resolution. And the answer is, my new year resolution is 33 megapixels. Hopefully that made you smile. With that, I'd like to say thank you for your time. See you next time.